back at it again. Here we go. Another load of steel today. So we got a freezer, two hot water tanks in there, and a workbench and a little table. Over here is just a whole bunch of little scrap. All just every time I get little scraps, just throw it in here. So now I am taking it to the scrapyard. So metal, all metals are up pretty high. So metals are doing really well. Steel, it's, it's holding steady, and copper is up really high. So I really want to get up. Uh, I really want to strip some wire this week and get some some of that to the scrapyard for sure. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, the prices these days. Um, so let's get going. at home but I brought it oh that's gonna help so much Well, that was a really good uh, load of steel today. Uh, 1,780 pounds for $165 a, a metric ton. 133 bucks. That was really nice, really nice haul. And it's always a good feeling to get, um, you know, when your yard is piling up with, with steel and it's getting all cluttered up. It's just a nice feeling to, to just get rid of it and, uh, and have a nice clean slate to work with. Yeah, so it's great. Um, been working really hard the last few days, but I haven't really been filming too much. It's just um, uh, Christine and the kids got home from their big trip from out west. They came back on the train, and they said they had quite the experience on the train ride back home. Um, just, you know, <laughs> you just imagine uh, people like drinking Jack Daniels on the train at 2 a.m. in the morning, and what, what that is like, even though they're not supposed to, but whatever. So yeah, it's been going pretty well these days. Uh, just trying to keep things moving, keep the yard kind of clean. Um, still got a lot of stuff to go through. Well, 
you know, not too much, I guess. I mean, I just got those three furnaces I wanted to go through. I want to get that finally moved out someday. And uh, some ACRs, some microwaves, and some small motors over there I want to work on. You know, either take them apart or whatever. And this is kind of where I'm keeping a lot of my non ferrous stuff right now. Just motors and the batteries, aluminum. Using this thing for aluminum now. And yeah, a bunch of extrusion down there. Yep, yep, it's good, it's good. Yeah, so finally made it out of the basement. Uh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful day, man, it's a really nice day today. Last couple days have just been rain, 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 but today's nice. Um, yeah, so finally made it out of the basement. I have four packages to bring to the post office. Uh, furnace blower motor, there was a, a label like a label gun, a vintage one that I got from my drop-off bin. There's a, a microwave transformer down there. And the other thing was, uh, oh yeah, a control board from a stove. So it was a good day yesterday. Man, oh man, you can tell heating season is upon us because lots of furnace parts are, are going out the door, which is great. It's my, it's my number one thing that I like to sell. So I was just going to empty out this truck. I have some... Uh, newspaper. My post office gives me all these extra newspapers that I use for void fill, some boxes and stuff. Man, I've been getting a lot of crazy stuff lately. Very busy drop-off bin. Uh, someone dropped off this TV here. I'm a little bit excited. I'm going to take this one apart and try to figure it out. Because actually, when, you, when I plugged it in, it actually gives a, a blink code. Which is really, really handy. It's like the only TV I've ever seen that will actually do that. So you plug it in, and a little light blinks. Okay, so it blinks It blinks five times. So that actually gives you a code that you can work with to find out what's wrong. Um, so I looked up online, and I was kind of able to figure out a couple of troubleshooting things I could do to, to get to work again. But yeah, this, my little shed here is just so busy. So, so much going on here, like... A whole bunch of stuff back there I have to go through. That's the box that TV came in. I'm just going to keep that box for now. I'm not sure what if I can get this to work. I may sell it as a working TV. Uh, or I could probably actually make more money selling the boards from it if, it's, if I can get it to work again. Um, yeah. Alright, so I just have this TV here. I'll un, uh, have the cover off of it. I mean, look at this thing. It's a busy, busy little TV set here. Um, lots of boards. There's a main video board. You have this other board here on the side and the power supply board and more on the sides here. So this is a Panasonic 42 inch. Uh, let's see here. Panasonic 42 inch uh, plasma HD TV. Um, there's the made in 2009. There's the model number there. Well, wasn't able to save that one. Oh well. It's a pretty nice TV. Really nice, but uh, you know, I just can't. Uh, I can't spend too much time on these things. Just gotta keep moving. I got too much stuff to go through. So, you know, it's not working. I'm not gonna spend the rest of my day troubleshooting it. So, in for recycling, just with the rest of it. It's just, it's too bad because there's so many boards on that. I would have liked to have so sold, or even just sell the whole thing by itself, like all in one good working piece. But. Yep, just got too much stuff, too much stuff to go through here, so. Oh well. Busy, busy lifestyle, but I love it. Let me show you some of the not so good stuff that someone dropped off of my bin. Yeah, so I have to, uh, I have to figure out a way to get rid of this stuff. So someone dropped off some water softener equipment here. You know, this stuff here, it's just a, it's just a fiberglass plastic tank, and it's full of like these little, plastic balls it kind of looks like sand I think it may have some sand in it but I don't know it's like mostly just little tiny plastic balls I have to uh, I don't know I may actually go to the dump I may actually pay the, the money to go to the dump and there's another one there same same deal and these things are just heavy I mean there must be like 150 pounds each and this thing too that's actually empty it's really light but it's a water tank, you know, it's all fiberglass. So, gonna have to make some signage at my, at my drop-off bin. No water tanks. 
you know, plastic water tanks, whatever. And also a couple other things that I can't take. These tubes, you know, these, these uh, fluorescent tubes, someone's always dropping those off. And um, what else do we got down there? Yeah, just the uh, little, the other little light bulbs. People are always dropping off light bulbs at my bin. I can't, nothing I can do with those things. I just turn around and throw them in the garbage. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. There's really nothing you can do with them. Nowhere you can recycle them or anything. So, anyways, yeah, so uh, I'm going to unhook the trailer and go uh, drop off the packages. So the next thing you'll see is the drop off. Let's see what's there. All right. Well, there goes the boys. They're going to go and uh, go to the play structure while I load up here at, the, at my drop off bin. And then they're going to still be there while I'm at the post office. I'm going to pick them, pick them up later. Let's see what we got here today. Oh, it's a Honda. Honda engine. Uh, that might be something. I don't know. Where are you guys going? Oh, okay. Well, it feels like good compression. This uh, reel is not really rewinding very well. Um, ah. Look at that. See, I like it when they write stuff like that, you know? They, so here we go. Still in good order. What the heck is this thing? Looks like a pressure cooker. I don't know how you open it. Anyways, that's kind of good. Oh, it's a twist. Okay. Ah. seal and everything. Very cool. I'm thinking eBay on that guy. And we have a whipper snipper. Batteries. It's all batteries in there. And scrap. Cool. Over here is this big monster freezer. I have to get that on my truck somehow. And a bunch of other scrap. Let's get it done. Just taking apart this old computer here. As you can see, it's really, really dusty. Look at all that bad dust there. It's just pretty bad. Um, definitely not going to try and power this thing up to see if it, if I can salvage any parts off of it. Just too dirty. But was able to get a nice uh, a couple of sticks of RAM. Um, 256 megabyte. And then got some other stuff here. Let's take a look at the CPU. It's an AMD, a ceramic with a heatsink on it, 1998, AMD K6, 2. Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at those nice gold pins. All right, we have two other slot cards. And so I'm just going to take out, there's a, the floppy disk drive, I'll take that out, take out the, the hard drive, and the motherboard, slot cards, after that I'm just going to cut the wires on the power supply, and take some of the wiring out for uh, insulated copper wire, and then throw the rest into my shreddable steel, I'm making another shreddable steel pile for tomorrow, because um, I just picked that up from the recycling bin, so I just want to... I get rid of it right away. I'm not gonna take. A, I'm not gonna take a look at the lawnmower there. Just, just too many lawnmowers to uh, to go through. So just straight to scrap. And uh, yeah, uh, sit down here in my sh in uh, my store, eBay store. Been uh, doing a couple of changes here. Um, that uh, a little bit more organizing. Um, this rack here, I kind of went through all these boxes that were here, and I I organized them all like that. So I like that a lot better. And so you can just kind of see which size that you need. And then some other boxes there, envelopes. And I ordered some more of these uh, these uh, anti-static bags off Amazon. 
And I, I like ordering this size here because most of my small stuff, my furnace boards will fit in there. But if I need to, what I can do, oh, not that one. If I need to, what I can do is I can just cut it in half and tape two of them together if I have a bigger board to ship. Uh, a lot of newspapers there for void fill and some other stuff. And I, this is a shelving rack that I picked up at my storage bin. It was from the video of that one guy who, who dropped off like a whole bunch of stuff and hardware. So yeah, this shelving rack is really nice. Um, and uh, what I like about it too is that the feet are self-adjusting, like they have screws, so you can just, uh, you don't need, usually what I have to do is, you know, stuff cardboard underneath the feet because the ground is all uneven, but those just have adjustable legs. And uh, the plywood I got from my shop when they were moving, so I picked a bunch of plywood. And so I just cut it, cut all the, uh, cut them to size, and now I got four shelves. So this kind of this shelving unit right here is just for stuff that I've I've just brought down uh, from outside, and I just need to go through and and test it, and just to see if it's uh, uh, most of it, like stuff like this. You know what I do is I I just make sure it has continuity, and as long as it looks like a nice clean unit, this this is a magnetron from microwave, I'll list that. But yeah, you just you check for continuity on those types of things. But mostly everything is just kind of been tested, or I, or I've gone, th or I'm about to go through it a little bit more detail. Like this thing, you know, that was from a freezer I just picked up, and uh, you know, he's very very adamant saying it's a good working unit. It works really well, and so I, uh, I was I was looking at it. The whole inside of this freezer was completely rusted out. So. I can't really resell it, so I just took the motor off, and the rest goes in a scrap. Um, yep, and that is that for that side, and just again, boxes and stuff that I have to go through and list. Big printer, and I just brought down all these motors. My son helped me bring all these motors down. And so, there's a lot of value here. A lot of value. Some of the motors are from older uh, furnaces, you know, so if someone's trying to keep an older furnace uh, uh, going, they can just um, they can just get one of mine. And then I, I put up a, a light here, and that, that will help with my lighting. And that's about it. Um, I just had a customer buy this board off me from eBay. This is a wash machine board. I sold it for $100, but they paid $15 for the shipping, and he's going to come by and pick it up instead. So he said, uh, can you just refund me the shipping when I come by? And I said, yep, so I'm going to give him back 15 bucks. And then someone actually just bought this as well. Um, this is another, or this is a washing machine motor. And someone bought that off eBay uh, just today, just now really and for $40, $40. and so he's that's a local pickup as well and it has like this uh, discharge pump on the back and everything and I'm feeling better about local pickups because I actually went through and I revised all my listings to um, have an actual option where they can pay with with uh, local pickup I didn't really know that you could do that before so I'm feeling a lot better about local pickups these days so uh, I may do more of them because once they pay for this sort of thing, because this guy paid through PayPal, you know, gave me 40 bucks. Once it's paid, all I have to really do is just make sure he, he picks it up, you know. there's no, I don't even really have to be here. I could actually just, like, leave it somewhere. I won't, but I could just leave it, like, at the end of the driveway, for example. Just tell him, you know, it's underneath the box sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, he's going to, we're just going to arrange for a pickup time. And there's Spencer eavesdropping on my conversation with myself. What say you, Spencer? What? What say you? What is that?